So we are going to look at unmolding this and see how it's gone with the dusting and what is the quality of this. I'm going to start with the little feather at the side, see what that turned out like. Okay, so they dry matte, but detail's not too bad. And if you want to make them glossy, you can add a little bit of resin over the top a little bit of um, copper at the end but look at that detail you can't really say there's anything wrong with that and you could add a little bit of glitter to them just to bring them out so that's number one they're coming out beautifully though oh yeah number two look at me getting excited oh yeah <laughs> couple of little bubbles in there still curing I got to get the little um, knife in there to get out that little bit but let's look at the detail on that and again you can paint them over if you want to make them shiny but decent little feathers very nice now let's get on to the big piece which is the beautiful, in my opinion, peacock. Let's have a look. Oh! See, the blues I've used have been, they've blended together a lot, so you're not going to see the different colour blues that I used, but it is blue all around. And um, let's little look at that detail. There's different colours you get in there on the peacock. And you can be very creative and make it however you want, but look at that stunning, stunning detail and depth. I'm going to try and stick that on a piece of art, both of these, get some colours behind, or one of the vases. But that love him really do love that detail and i just need to get a bit more delicate when it comes to the micas because you can't once you put a mica powder down you can't go over it so the i suppose the imagination is your own limitation with this i just love it it just looks like feathers it's really good so i will clean this mold down and i'm going to use it for multiple different things. So the only thing that's on there is the, the powder on the edge, but we will clean that out. And yeah, remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. That shows um, how you support my channel. And remember, visit my Etsy store. There might be some treasures there that you want to purchase. Or join my Facebook group where you can showcase your art with other creative people out there. What do you think to this mould? Have you used it before? What kind of colour schemes would you do? And what would you put on this? I'd love to know. But thank you for hanging out with me. My goal is to always share ideas, tips and tricks. This is not sent to me as far as I purchase most of these moulds myself just so that I can keep things up to date and relevant. Uh, but I'll put the link in my description. And again, thank you so much. Have an amazing day. See you next time. Bye-bye.
back to review these now I've added a little bit of bling to them so you could choose to leave them matte in the colours that they are because they were pretty but I wanted to bling these up so I've graduated some of the Arteza glitter through and added I think a little bit of interest might not be for everybody I get that but I love it and having that texture and the matte colour underneath has really made this glitter pop so I have turned these into magnets. I'll show you the back. And I just think they're beautiful. You could turn them into brooches, pieces for your art. Just got myself a little magnet on the back there. Oh, they are so pretty. So I'm going to do some more of these in all different colours and just have some fun. I love this one. Is there a depth in those feathers? And the other colours, all colours that complements the one underneath. But again, you may choose not to do that, but it's so pretty. And he's took two magnets, but I have tested them and they fit very securely. But remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments, always welcome. Visit my Facebook store if you're interested in any of my art. There might be some treasures there that you want to purchase. Join my Facebook group if you want to showcase your art in any medium of your choice. And remember to come back and see me. So hit that little bell if you want to get notifications. But um, I just want to say thank you for hanging out and letting me explore all different kinds of modes with you all. I hope these look quite festive and that you love it like I do. But I'll see you on the next video. See you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. And bye bye.